Welcome to a comprehensive visual exploration of Leonardo da Vinci's complete known paintings, crafted specifically for educational purposes. Annunciation, see 1472 to 76, a serene scene of the angel Gabriel announcing to Mary her divine destiny. Delicate figures and soft hues whisper the promise of a momentous change. Ginevra de Benci, see 1474 to 78, an innovative portrait employing one-point perspective, capturing the intelligence and grace of a Florentine noblewoman. The juniper bush symbolizes purity and fidelity. Madonna of the Carnation, 1474 to 76, a tender portrayal of the Virgin Mary and child adorned with carnations. The vibrant colors and intimate bond exude warmth and early Florentine charm. Madonna Lita, C. 1490, a captivating study in sfumato, Leonardo's signature technique of hazy atmospheric effects. The Madonna's gentle gaze and playful interaction with the child create a heartwarming scene. The Virgin of the Rocks, C. 1483 to 1490. Two versions exist, both showcasing Leonardo's mastery of light and shadow and his keen observation of nature. The serene landscape and tender portrayal of the virgin and child make this a beloved subject. Mona Lisa, C. 1503-19, arguably the most famous painting in the world, shrouded in mystery due to her enigmatic smile and captivating gaze. Leonardo's sfumato technique adds to the allure, making her an icon of timeless beauty. The Last Supper, 1495-98, a monumental mural depicting Jesus' Last Supper with his disciples. Leonardo's use of perspective and dramatic composition creates a powerful and immersive experience for viewers. Lady with an Ermine, C. 49-91, a captivating portrait of Cecilia Gallerani, showcasing Leonardo's skill in capturing both human beauty and animal details. The Ermine, a symbol of purity and innocence, adds another layer of intrigue. Salvador Monday, C. 1500, a controversial painting once believed to be a copy, later attributed to Leonardo. It depicts Jesus Christ as the savior of the world, with a detailed rendering of his face and the globe he holds. Bacchus, C. 1506 to 1512, a dynamic and colorful departure from Leonardo's usual serene subjects, portraying the Roman god of wine in a youthful and energetic manner. Vitruvian Man, C. 1490, not strictly a painting, but a renowned drawing that perfectly embodies Leonardo's fascination with the human body and its proportions. It combines artistic skill with scientific inquiry, making it a timeless icon of Renaissance ideals. Madonna of the Yarnwinder, C. 1501, a charming portrayal of the Virgin Mary engaged in the simple act of winding yarn. The tender bond between mother and child, along with the soft, atmospheric setting, exudes a sense of tranquility and domesticity. St. John the Baptist, C. 1508-16, this captivating portrait depicts the saint with an air of mystery and spiritual fervor, thanks to Leonardo's use of sfumato and dramatic lighting. Portrait of Isabella d'Este, 1500-04. Though unfinished, this portrait captures the essence of Isabella d'Este, a powerful and influential patron of the arts. Leonardo's delicate brushwork and attention to detail portray her intelligence and dignity. Head of a woman, see 1495-1500, also known as La Scapigliata, this charcoal sketch portrays a woman with flowing hair and a melancholic expression. The masterful use of charcoal and the focus on emotion make it a fascinating study of human psychology. Saint Jerome in the Wilderness, C. 1490-1500. This unfinished painting depicts Saint Jerome kneeling in a rocky wilderness, conveying a sense of solitude and spiritual devotion through the dramatic landscape and expressive figure. Additionally, there are several works with disputed attributions that are still being studied and debated by art historians. Some notable examples include Madonna of the Lake, 1497 to 1500. This serene landscape features the Virgin Mary and child with St. John the Baptist. While its attribution to Leonardo is debated, its poetic beauty and mastery of light and shadow are undeniable. La Belle Ferronniere, C. 1490 to 95. This portrait of an unidentified woman showcases Leonardo's signature sfumato technique and enigmatic gaze. Although its attribution is not definitive, it remains a captivating addition to his artistic legacy. The allure of Leonardo da Vinci's art lies not just in the quantity of his paintings, but in the depth and complexity of each brushstroke. As we conclude our journey, 
remember that this is just a glimpse into the vast and captivating universe of Leonardo's artistic legacy.